It's kind of cold in here. Let's start a fire. Hocus pocus expelliarmus. Fits up pretty well. Burns clean. Yeah, this is the future of heating. And this is how it's done. It's basically ethanol, alcohol, pure, it? a few milliliters. This, this thing is getting pretty cheap. One liter is about two euros at the moment. It's not the cheapest form, but it's the cleanest for the indoor heating with fire. It's not dangerous, it doesn't, doesn't burn as hot, doesn't burn long. So Europe is moving into this, into the direction with heating with ethanol instead of gas or coal. Nice, alcohol for heating, from the inside and outside. Another good technology for heating with fire is this little device. It's an oil lamp or kerosene lamp or alcohol lamp, whatever you put inside, it's a, it's a fire lantern, oil, oil lantern, whatever you want to call it. So the way it works, you just put the combustible, in this case alcohol, 96% alcohol, which burns very clean, just put it in here, and then it burns on the edge of the, of the cotton, cotton belt. Yes, a cotton fuse. Okay, let's see how it works. Let's assemble it and see how it burns. It's a good thing you get the heat and the light, and it's very portable. It's still like the Middle Ages for lighting and heating with fire. So the whole of this, the fuel and the lamp is uh, around 10, 10 euro, 10 US dollars, thanks to China. Mm. The good thing about this device is that the fire is contained within the glass, so it doesn't, doesn't kind of exit the glass, so it's safer. So this is 250, this is 850, so in total, like 10, 10, 10, 30, 11, 12 for the experiment. And then you just rebuy the alcohol, or you just able to distill your own alcohol, or whatever the cheapest version you can buy. For the indoor, where you breathe the air, it's better to get the purest alcohol, not the lamp, not the oil, just the, uh, some essential oil, maybe one a few drops. So to get the, the fresh smell of the sauna. So now let's see, let's assemble this and see how it works. Oh, the moment of truth. Let's see if this Chinese production lamp works. It's not a perfect one. Okay, there is a flame. Okay, let's push this up and down. Yeah, there is a stable flame. It's kind of dark. So alcohol only works for heat, for heating. So it's not, not really for lighting.
The light is kind of transparent, dark. Uh, the alcohol flame is very clean. It's up the, the upper part and the hot air exits on the top. Yeah. Doesn't smell. It's only the smell of the essential oil, in this case, mint. So you, you kind of get the mint. Yeah, it burns very well. Uh, it turns to... Let's see in the dark. It's more visible in the dark, let's see in the dark. Yeah, burns like the flame of the gas. It's a signal that's very clean. It's a very clean flame. 99% alcohol. It's probably also possible to dilute the alcohol with water. And now you see, just the heat is so intense, it just the, the gas burns. Now it's a little bit red because the, the, the cotton, this cotton belt is burning. And when it's blue, it's just the gas that's burning. Just the gas of the alcohol. Okay, so it's a, it's a signal that it's a very very clean flame, so that the air quality in the room or in the house is a bit better than with oil. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of big the flame. No? Let's see with light again. The good thing about this lamp is that if it falls, there's basically nothing that can happen. Let's see what happens if if it kind of falls. So it falls, the alcohol will probably... Yeah, it went out by itself. So, but if the alcohol is kind of drips out of the little holes in here, and probably burns in the area, so you make sure you don't want, don't don't make it fall. Or there is this part to attach to something; it gets hot. So if you attach it to something that's burnable, it will burn. This also, but it gets hot. It's kind of hot. Yeah, it's hotter than than it's healthy to touch. Oh, she did. It's very hot. So this part gets like hot, so the, the alcohol inside is like boiling, so it's, it's more gas than alcohol, oh, it's easy to burn. So this is, there are other options where you can just put some, use this for cooking and you just put the cooking cook, teapot on, on, on top, it's a different model, you just put the teapot on top and then you just have hot tea and heat and fire so i hope this helps this is we are still in the middle ages because we are too preoccupied with our problems and issues and emotions and relationships and love and then we don't have the the power or the mental power to to just concentrate the solar energy of the sun and then just heat up something and then use it in the night or insulate our building so we resort to, to this heating with fire, like in the Middle Ages, like in the Fire Age, in the Stone Age. It's kind of romantic, but it's not the, not the bad thing for heating. It just, it's just whatever is available at our stage of development. Maybe later on we'll discover better and cleaner and more safer forms of heating. But until now, we use this cute stuff. Have fun. One good thing about ethanol is that it allows to be very creative to have many different containers for heating, like like glass jars. There is 
alcohol burning inside of the glass jar. This is only possible because ethanol got pretty cheap because of bioethanol bio production. So it's kind of economical to heat with ethanol at the moment. So it's beautiful. It's like an old oil lamp but without the dirty things. So there is no no fumes, no smell, no nothing, just, just heat. Perfect. Some people put sand and a metallic sponge so the sponge heats up and then it helps the alcohol to burn more cleaner and more efficient. When the glass heats up it, it, it helps the alcohol to burn very cleanly. It's a very simple and very practical way of heating. Hey, in this jar there are just a few, a few cents heating up the entire room for an hour or half an hour. But there are many ethanol heating lamps for indoor. You just put in a cup of ethanol and then the whole evening is supplied with heat at home. So something like for 20 cents, 10 cents, 15 cents. Not much. Well, this one doesn't burn efficiently, so there is some black soot on the on the sides, on the edges of the of the glass jar. But the the old traditional oil lamps they are perfect for this because they they can heat up, and there is a like a glowing metal piece which can heat up the gas and help it to burn very very efficiently. This one is just a glass jar, nothing nothing special. Okay, three minutes of fire for, uh, for about three cents. Nice. We're still going, huh? This is another good method for heating. It's just an ordinary cooking top with hot water inside. Yeah. If you have gas at home, if you cook with gas, this is a very efficient method of heating. You just heat up the water in five minutes. Then let it sit somewhere in the room. And then the heat gets released within half an hour, one hour. Just to heat up for the evening if you don't have heating at home or if you just have to heat for one month in a year. It's not a sustainable method but a, a simple and very clean one if you cook with gas. The good thing about met this method of heating a room is that 
You can put essential oils and smells into the water, whatever you like. Yeah. Simple as that. Just heat up water and put it somewhere in the room. I hope this helps someone. Thank you for supporting the Creative Commons movement. Have fun. <laughs>